right guys, so today I want to show you all what tools I use to customize my Blythe dolls. So, the first thing that you want to purchase is a set of um, sculpting and shaping tools. I use this one over here and I purchased this at Michael's Craft Store and it comes in a five piece set. Uh, you can get them in bigger sets, but this is the one that I use. It kind of looks like an X-Acto knife. Um, I also use X-Acto knives to carve the doll. So you want carving tools. Um, you can also, if you're brave enough, you can also use a Dremel. So I use this Dremel, it's called Drill Master, and it has all these cool pieces that come with it for fine details. You can see, this is like, um, you can use this to um, drill the hole in the nose, or just, you know, if you wanna give your doll dimples or little, little small details. So you can also purchase this. All right, so the next tool that you are going to need for your Blythal is, well, it's not a tool, but sandpaper, sanding paper. So I have here, this is called, um, I don't know what the grit size is, but it's P220, and it's very fine, and it comes in a roll, and I like that. So you can just cut a piece and, you know, start sanding your doll. You can also get the sponge um, sandpaper, which is easy on your hands. And All right, so I recently have been using this. It's awesome. This is a cut shield. Uh, so you just put it on and it protects your hand from getting cut. And when you first start, you're not very steady with your hands because, you know, it takes, it takes practice. So I did get a few cuts the first time I customized. Um, so the first thing that you do when you customize a doll, you want to remove her. You want to take her apart. So this is just a faceplate that I have that I haven't worked on yet. So your doll will come with um, three screws on the back of her head. So you take your tool, which you need a flat head to remove the tools. I don't have it, so just get a set of little tools that you can use. And I actually I accidentally bent that one trying to remove the eye mechanism. So yeah, so you need that to remove the, tool, the screws. So once you remove the screws, they come with a little spring on the back. I don't have the spring on this one. So you just wanna pull the little spring on the back to pop it off. And then you can just remove it. And then you remove the the T-bar, you unscrew the T-bar, and then you take the eye mechanism out. Now, I've seen a lot of videos where a lot of people have been using the flathead to remove the eye mechanism. So, you know, they'll stick it in here. And when you do this, and I've done it before, so this is why I am sharing a tip with you all. Um, now, this only works for the Factory Blythe Girls. So you, I've seen a lot of people, you know, put in between the little groove there and then, you know, they try to lift it up and it pops right off. And sometimes when you do that, it scratches it and it can act actually break it as well. So I learned a trick. Now, these face plates are not as thick as, um, the stock Blythe. Now I know I said in videos before that I would never customize my um, stock Blythe, but I have one doll that is a SBL doll, um, my Sunday's Best doll. Now I've been working on her because she has a melted spot on her eyebrow, so I had to take her apart and it was a nightmare taking her apart. So it doesn't work for those kind of face plates because I don't know, I think their face plates is a lot thicker than the factory Blythe doll, so it's not very, like I can pull this a little bit and it stretches, but um, okay, so let me show you the, the trick that I've learned how to remove the eye mechanism. So once you take out the T-bar and everything's taken out of there, you just pull the eye the eyeball a little down and with your thumb, push this one outwards, the faceplate, and you 
pop it off just like that and it's very easy so no more of this don't use this anymore uh, yeah so that's that's one tip for you guys so when you first start off sanding make sure you get the fine grit paper grit sanding paper so this is one that I recently have been using it's a 1200 grit paper that um, you can use it wet or dry and it's very fine you can really feel it you don't want to scratch your doll up if you get some um, if you get um, grit paper that's very low and it'll you know it'll scratch her face up but yeah so these are the tools that I use um, when I when I carve my doll now when you once you remove you know the eye mechanism everything you want to start out sanding her to get the shine off her and her makeup everything you want to get everything make sure you don't leave anything behind and try not to use um, what is that called um, the nail polish remover because it will melt your doll and it will also discolor her face so try not to use it so just be patient and just you know sand everything all the shine off her and that's what I use so let me show you the tools that I use to carve her. So this is the, the one that looks like the X-Acto knife. So you know, I'll start carving, um, start carving her face with this and you know, little details first to see how much I wanna take off and stuff. And then I'll use my Dremel to fix it up, to go around it. Um, it this is really good to use, but um, it's very shaky, so I have to upgrade to uh, a better a better one so yeah so this is these are the tools that you need to carve your doll oh before I forget you can also get these diamond tipped um, tools used for um, beads which were great for you know sanding little areas like the lip between the lips um, her nostrils so yeah try to get these as well these are pretty cool so yeah um, I will try to make a video later on on how I customize my girls step by step